Hi everyone and welcome back to our Crybaby Wounds Challenge. Ro is currently still mourning the loss of Harmony and is overall having a really rough time so we really need to do something about it. Oh and as soon as I said that Yoon is calling to say that he had a really great date, I'm sure that that's really gonna make Ro feel better so congratulations. But I was gonna say that they are also mourning Flora, they just have like a lot of mourning going on here. But if I'm not mistaken we also got bills so let me take a look at that. Yeah we do have bills of 5,000 simoleons so we have to pay that and also we have to pay our student loan payment for today so we are losing so much money as soon as we started and we don't really have much to begin with oh and our loan is still so big okay let's just try to maybe give it a thousand there because i don't want to go for like a bare minimum because i feel like it's not really going to count because i don't know the mod is doing some like funky things about that so i'm being cautious that's another thousand gone and that is just six thousand left and that is really not a lot to maintain this entire place by ourselves so Ro has some thinking to do. So now that we lost Harmony it's only just been a couple of hours it's still spooky day so we are still on the same day but Ro is thinking and it's actually making them feel quite a bit better look at that but they're thinking they don't really have that much money they have this really great job but honestly they kind of shot themselves in the foot there because they got this job because of Harmony so they don't have to work that much but Harmony has died now and they don't really get paid that much because because they don't go to work that much so we're in a bit of a trouble when it comes to financial things and Ro is definitely starting to realize that they really need to do something because they are gonna be in trouble like they won't be able to afford their bills potentially next time maybe it would be a good moment to actually move on from this place and find something a little bit cheaper and I don't actually mean to like sell the cottage this cottage was never going to leave the family they will still own it in the background but it's not gonna be like as expensive to maintain it if no one lives here but that means that Ro has to go somewhere so I'm gonna have them go on a computer and maybe try to look for a place and see if anyone's potentially looking for roommates or something like that oh they're thinking about their father they think about him really often recently I think it's because he's kind of near the end of his life but that is kind of a good point Harmony has died now and she was the only person that was still kind of tying Ro to their past well besides their father but we kind of know that that situation is a little bit messy however you put it but Harmony was the only only one who was still a reminder of Aspen and you know still like living here and being around this place was a reminder of everything that was going on especially in this cottage because like Aspen died here and everything so moving on from this place actually makes sense in so many ways not just financially that is something that is pushing Ro to do this right now but it actually just makes sense in general so I think that moving on is the best decision here it is maybe going to be strange to move out of their basically childhood home as I said it's not going to be like that they're getting rid of it they will still have it maybe as like a vacation home they can visit here occasionally but they will actually go somewhere and they're looking for some roommates right now and they don't really have any sort of plan where they would like to go but they know that they want to go somewhere and like I said ages ago and multiple times already Ro is definitely not material to live in Henford and Bagley their entire life they're more for like a urban area or something like it but definitely not like a nice little cute farm so moving on as I said makes sense in pretty much all ways and they have found a potential place but first they kind of want to maybe try to write a new book maybe they want to start a sad book to kind of just clear their mind of everything and this is going to be like a final closing chapter of their past and I'm not feeling very creative with book titles right now so I'm just going to be naming it moving on it's basically that they are trying to move on from everything that happened in their past now also including Valentino but that's quite trivial when you compare it to like pretty much everything that happened to them in their life before but they're trying to move on from everything start a new chapter so this book is basically gonna be sort of about that but I'm still gonna be counting it for the challenge rules for like three books that we need to write so this is the second one of that I guess series to some extent because the last one was getting over a bad breakup from an unaccepting partner this one is just like moving on from things in general so the next one's gonna have some kind of theme like that as well but okay let's just start writing this book and just before they wrote the book I did mention they found some potential listings so they have a general idea of where maybe they would like to go so after they finish writing this book because they're actually pretty good at just finishing books in just one sitting although I'm not really gonna force them but they're feeling energized immediately so it might actually work but after writing this book we'll have to sort some things out around here and then we'll be ready to move they are feeling quite sad still about Harmony they're gonna be sad for two days and they're also having a mood swing from HRT oh Hewan why are you calling again oh oh 
Oh no. Okay. I already paid my loans today, but it's forcing me to pay again. It's like a missed payment. And if I get this a couple of times, we'll have the repo man come over, which is so unfair because I am paying. So yeah, the mod that I'm using for like increased stuff is a little bit bugged. So I'm having some issues with it. And that's why we also have to pay even more. So I'll make another payment, I guess. But yeah, I'm having problems with it. So that's extra stressful on top of everything else. Anyway, I was going to say that they're having a mood swing because of HRT. They're feeling angry. Rose hormone replacement therapy is causing some inconvenient mood swings. Definitely inconvenient considering everything that they're going through today. But they just finished writing their second book. Oh, and they're immediately feeling very sad. But let's see the quality of the book. Is there any good? It's excellent. Well, we should go and publish it then. So we can sell it to the publisher. Still, we haven't actually worked on this one. We should be working on reworking this one, especially because we're kind of like down bad for money right now. So I feel like publishing this one will be a good move. We just have to work on it a little bit more. But anyway, let's just publish this one. Moving on. I really should have thought of a <laughs> better title, but it is what it is. So their new book is out in the world and they're a notable newcomer now. They actually have a celebrity level. They're going to develop emotional bomb thing, I'm calling it. So although I'm not super thrilled about it because I just know that this is going to be annoying, let's maybe just go for something that would benefit us. So let's see. We can do noticeable. Chance to gain bonus fame from skills and careers. That makes the most sense because they would want to become like extra famous from their career. So I feel like I'll go with this one. Oh, look at them going actually. Research romance tips by themselves. I think that they're already trying to work on their new book. But I, I don't think that we can actually work on that right now because we have some things to do. So you are feeling a little bit tired, but I think that we need to start kind of prepping for moving. But sadly, moving out of here would mean that we have to take care of the animals which are here because no one's going to be here to look after them. So let me just call over Blossom. It actually does kind of break my heart to do this, but we will have to rehome the animals because Ro won't be able to take care of them. And even if we do have like a ranch hand hired to come here every day, they're going to be so lonely while they're here all alone. So I think that it will be in their best interest to actually just rehome them, sell them for simoleons. Unfortunately, sadly, I actually will have to sell Blossom, but it's not like we're selling her for like simoleons. It's just we're rehoming her. We're, we're putting her on a really nice farm so she has like lots of friends and everything because we just can't take care of her right now. Oh my god, I really hate doing this, but we can't leave the animals all alone. So that's the reason that I will actually have to sell her. So let's say goodbye. Oh my god, we didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. Are you kidding? Well, we have to do the same with Alice here. Are you joking right now? I literally paid 3000 today. I'm actually really upset about this. I will ignore this payment and I'll have to get rid of this mod, sadly. It's just so annoying. But anyway, let's call Alice out. She's actually our only hen right now. All of the other ones have actually died out of old age. So I guess that she is lonely here as is. So we might as well actually give her a better home. But let's also just put Alice into a better home. So unfortunately, I have to do this. It does kind of break my heart. Hopefully we can at least say goodbye to her. Because Blossom disappeared quickly. But no, okay, Alice is taking her time. So goodbye, Alice. You'll be missed. Kind of the same thing goes for the bugs here because we have to feed them and we can't really do that right now. The bees can stay because they're kind of self-sufficient. And the garden can also kind of just be okay on its own, most likely, because it's going to be fine once it rains and stuff. It is under a roof, but it's it's fine. I think that the garden is going to be okay if we just leave it here. And we will like come over occasionally so I think that just leaving it and maybe maintaining it once we're here every now and then is gonna be okay. But Ro has decided to go to sleep so I guess that we'll be moving in the morning. And while they're sleeping I'm seeing some moodlets. Hormone therapy first changes appear. That's so exciting. Ro is continuing hormone therapy and has started to notice the first effects. Their voice is starting to deepen, hair is growing in new places and body fat and muscle mass seem to start shift as well. Ro is starting to feel more at home in their own body. Oh my gosh that's actually so exciting but much less exciting is that the game thinks that we're in debt although we are definitely not so I am a little bit like worried about this can I just like get rid of it <laughs> I don't think it's really gonna do much when it comes to like actually it happening but maybe I can avoid it oh I told you I literally told you it hasn't even been like 12 hours and they already have this stupid quirk I knew it but they just woke up and let's just start their day their final day here living at the cottage I mean I did say already 
because I just want to clarify that we will be coming back here sometimes, but more like a occasional visit, more like a little vacation place. But this is our final morning actually properly like living here. And it's really strange that we have no animals. That's actually so, so sad. Oh, but we still have the ranch hand. I need to get rid of him. I mean, he's been doing like real good job and helping Harmony a lot, but I'm afraid that I will have to fire you. Oh no, this looks so mean. I was gonna say thank you so much for all of your hard work during the years but okay well that that was a lot meaner than expected no please stop harassing me for loan payments i literally i don't have to do this oh my god the repo man will come i just know and that's gonna be so frustrating because it's not rose fault I, i'm afraid i'll have to like ignore the payments again i need to get this mod out of my game right now but like i don't want to close oh oh my god i kind of i kind of should probably yeah okay i did it and hopefully we'll be okay now because that was just pure harassment harassment at this point and Ro is looking so miserable but I think that will be okay. And they're having some more changes from their hormone therapy. Changes continuing. The excitement of the first changes have been replaced with a mix of confidence and a bit of frustration as progress continues. Such things take time and it can be hard to be patient. Still, Ro is not menstruating anymore. Their body continues to change towards a more masculine frame as muscle and fat redistribute. Their voice keeps deepening and facial and body hair growth continues. Steady progress and Ro is feeling good. Well, that sounds pretty amazing considering everything else really stressful going on in their life. At least they have something going for them. But it did cross my mind. Oh, we got some royalties from the box. Okay, that's great. But it did cross my mind while we are still here that we could sell everything in the garden. So that's going to give us a bit of a boost before moving. So I think that that's going to be really, really helpful. So while they're doing their sales, I think I'll just go into their room and check if there are any like pictures and stuff that we will want to take with us for sure. Because they have like a lot of important memories in here. So let me just see. They have a lot of duplicates in their inventory as well. I think that they have pretty much everything that's like actually important in here already. They have a photo with Flora and with Elliot and they have like their old high school photo as well. So I think that we don't really have to pack anything necessarily because everything that we leave here is going to stay here and be safe because the house is still ours. I'm continuing to emphasize that because I don't want you to forget. So we still have everything. Oh no, the bees are getting angry. They're like, this is our house now. Okay, fair enough, I guess. You just, you just be angry then but take care of the garden at least i'm gonna have them collect the mail one more time just so we don't have like a lot of junk mail in there but then i think it's actually time to go so say goodbye to the cottage as rose actual official home we will still see more of it but we won't be living here anymore and it does actually break my heart kind of but we know that moving on is the best thing that we can do right now so let's just say goodbye to henry and bagley one more time and we are actually going to be going to a bit of a maybe surprising place because we are going to Windenburg. It is a bit of a strange one but Ro has found some roommates right here in this more like town-esque area so I guess it does kind of make sense for them but to be fair I do actually see them long-term living actually believe it or not in Brightchester because this place is really perfect for them but everything that's been going on while they were in university still feels like a little bit too fresh and maybe they just don't really want to potentially run into Valentino. I'm not really sure where he's living right now. I know that he's father used to live here but we don't really want to risk it so I think that we'll stay away from Bychester at least for now because I have a feeling that we'll end up here eventually but right now let's maybe just go to Windenburg and see what it has to offer and we'll be going right here with these two sims and we made it to the new house into the beautiful snowy Windenburg. Ro is already getting into the house. I see one of the new roommates here so we should probably take a look at everything and say hello and just as a little disclaimer I got the house shell on the gallery but I decorated everything in there by myself so if it's a little bit funky that's because I'm not a builder but I tried my best. So when you first get in you have this pretty plain hallway, a little bathroom situation, washing machine in a really random place but it does that sometimes and one of the new roommates bedrooms so we need to get to know them to figure out whose room this is and next to that we have this nice homey kitchen and like a little eating area and like a shoe area. It looks like there's a dog in here as well. The outside is quite beautiful a really oh my gosh attractiveness alert oh my god okay Ro is already talking to the roommate we'll get to that in a second but upstairs we have oh we have we have roommates happening but this is gonna be Ro's bedroom which I'm just like absolutely obsessed with they decorated this quickly didn't they they literally just moved in but <laughs> 
Uh, this is gonna be their bedroom and I think that it's just so perfect for them. We have this like quite luxurious beautiful bathroom actually and another roommate's bedroom. So should we actually start getting to know the roommates? I feel like it's time. So we're getting to know the dog here first. A little penny and this is Patrice. She's one of your sims so let's actually we can't do an introduction but we can brighten her day so we can at least start a conversation and ask her like more about herself. So maybe let's just discuss some book authors. Tell her that you're actually an author as well. Offer some gratitude, that's amazing. It's a bit of a shame that we can't do proper introductions because they live together in a household so we can't do like first impressions. But let's just try to get to know her as much as possible. So Patrice also learned Rose pronouns which is amazing. I'll reminisce about the part said you can actually tell her why you're here. Oh and Victor's here actually with a gift. Wait that's actually really unexpected. How does he know already? Oh my god okay let's invite him in. Oh he's a neighbor really? Oh no, how is this possible? I've removed a mod that was messing with this. How is this still possible? No way. Oh no. Okay, I'll make a payment, but I'm actually like terrified right now. We have a bit more money. We have 12 and a half thousand right now in the household because 4,000 are ours and the rest is from the roommates. So we can't really spend like too much of their money, but at least we can do like 2,000 maybe. But anyway, let's just say hi to Victor and invite him in. Oh, he's, he's giving them a gift. Oh, who's this oh no we have a welcome bargain happening absolutely not go away but let's see what did victor give you hopefully <laughs> hopefully some money uncommon plants we can actually sell that quite well well victor coming over really did kind of just surprise me but let's just tell him that like hey we literally just moved in but do you want to get to know my roommate i literally just met her but it would be rude not to introduce yourself so i guess that we can just tell you that you, you can go and talk to patrice and we still need to go get to know joseph so let's tell you to go say hi to patrice and while you're at it, we can go upstairs and go talk to Joseph. Oh, Victor and Patrice are getting on well. Of course they are. And no way that Ro actually likes Joseph as well, really. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised. And oh my gosh, are you taking photos? What are you doing, Joseph? He's also one of your sims. But let's just get to know him a little bit better. Well, you can see by his bedroom that he's definitely the more like creative type. I believe that he is a painter. So his room is like really, really messy and really colorful. Patrice, on the other hand, is actually a cook. So she's going to be spending a lot of time in the kitchen making some amazing food. And we already saw her room. She's kind of just like cutesy and trendy. That's kind of how I see this but i can't believe the row already has a crush on both of them that is hilarious but yeah i already told you joseph is a painter he is a love bug art lover and a party animal and he is a painter like officially for his career as well and Ro is just feeling really attracted to him. We don't have any first impressions unfortunately. And for Patrice I already gave you a little summary as well for her but she is also loyal, a dog lover and a foodie and she is in the culinary career and Ro is also very attracted to her. And Patrice also has this cute little dog Penny who we also met already who is smart, friendly and stubborn. Well I'm gonna have everyone maybe grab a meal together so they can all just talk and get to know each other. I think that Ro is having a really good time feeling so flirty being surrounded by these extremely attractive people. That is honestly kind of hilarious. They're feeling really confident as well so I think that they're having a really good time. Leaving the cottage did feel a little bit strange but I think that they will actually really enjoy it here. So you can tell them more about yourself as well and tell oh tell Patrice that the food is amazing. I'm sure that she's gonna appreciate that a lot. Maybe let's just put it away so so we have it for later as well but we can tell them all about you at least all of the nice things that you would want other people to know not so much about like family background right but you can also tell them about your job discuss your favorite authors and ask them more about them we did kind of mostly see stuff already but we might as well ask some more questions share some more personal details and share like your personality quirks and try to do the same for them as well oh no i see that Ro is a little bit stinky that is <laughs> that is really unfortunate but let's just try to get to know people a little bit better and then we can go for a shower but let's see if we can actually learn anything more okay joseph is out of the conversation already maybe he didn't want to sit next to <laughs> ro when they're so stinky and patrice has learned about ro's career and financial status so it kind of does make sense that they did kind of move here because of the financial status but also maybe to kind of move in their career and be inspired in this new place 
that's at least the story that we want to go with to tell other people because the real reasons are a bit much to just overshare. Are you kidding? This is literally like the second time today. Oh, the repo man will come. I don't, I don't want that to happen. That is ridiculous. Honestly, I feel like maybe I want to like pay off the entire thing. <laughs> it's going to be the roommate's money as well, but maybe they would understand and we can just kind of earn a little bit more and cover a couple of rents instead instead of them because like we really need to pay this i mean don't get me wrong it's weird taking these people's money but i don't know let's just go maybe for like five thousand and ro is just gonna owe that money to them so they're gonna be paying the bills and stuff for the next few times when they earn some money but like this is so brutal i don't know why this is happening this is actually horrible i removed the mod that's like making the amount bigger so i don't know why it's still there well i'm gonna have them all maybe cook together that's maybe going to be a nice bonding activity because Patrice is really into cooking and I think that Joseph just likes to hang out. So I think that this will be kind of really nice for them and hopefully we'll get to know them a little bit better in the next episode. So you can watch it right here to see how Ro is managing moving to this completely new place with new people and if they're going to be feeling at home and accepted, I really, really hope so. But you can check that right here in the next episode and if the next episode is not out yet, here is something to watch while you wait. See you there!